All right, we'll get started. Good evening, and uh, thanks for joining us tonight for our, uh, I believe it's our second Wednesday night prayer service. Last week we had our Maundy Thursday service, so we're back on our Wednesday night schedule. I uh, just want to share some announcements with you before we begin our, our little service together. Uh, we plan to do this prayer service every Wednesday night at 6.30, so please make this a, a part of your weekly routine, and we invite uh, everyone throughout the week uh, during this live stream, of course, but uh, also via email, calling the church uh, office, um, letting Joey or myself know any prayer requests or praises that you have. We want to continue to share those as a church family so that we can use this time to pray for those things and to continue to lift one another up. So uh, please continually let us know what's on your heart and what you would like us to pray on your behalf uh, about. Another thing that happens every Wednesday is at one o'clock and, and put everything there on our YouTube channel. So um, you can go back through, even if you missed the, the live um, premiere of it, you can still go back and see um, the last four of those that we've done over the past month. So uh, please feel free to look at those as well. Uh, we want to remind everyone about uh, giving. Uh, everyone's been so faithful and, and uh, generous and continuing to send in your tithes and your offerings. Uh, you can continue to mail checks in here to the church at PO Box 177. You can also uh, give online. That link is on our church website, and it's also in the video description uh, for several of our YouTube videos, too. So if you, for whatever reason, can't find that link, let us know. We'll be happy to direct that to you. Uh, but thank you for your faithfulness and generosity in, in that respect. Uh, two scholarships that are important for our high schoolers and our college students are coming up. The United Methodist Women's Scholarship is for high school seniors and fifth year early college seniors. That is due April 15th. And um, I'm sorry, April 30th is the deadline for that. And uh, the link or the application for that is on our church website, fouroaksumc.org. And the other scholarship is the Jack and Cleo Austin Senior Scholarship, and that is for any college student. So a, a high school senior entering college uh, or a current college student or even graduate students, that scholarship is available to all those folks. And that is also on our church website. And the deadline for that is June 15th. So we want to invite everyone who's eligible to please apply and uh, take advantage of those opportunities. And lastly, we want to invite you to join us for worship on Sunday mornings, of course, at 11 o'clock here on our YouTube channel. Uh, we really enjoy making those and, and putting those together. And we want to invite you, if you want to be a part of that worship service in any way, uh, feel free to let us know. We can certainly uh, participate with your family in some way. Uh, we can be as creative as we like. So uh, please let us know if you want to participate in worship in any way as well. With that said, that's all of our announcements. and. Um, we love you. God loves you and, and is here with us. So may the Lord be with you. Thank you. And uh, now we want to enter into a time of prayer, remembering that God is with us and he delights in um, offer any prayer requests or praises that you have and um, or others that may have been told to you that uh, folks may not be logged on, but may want to show COVID-19 and then our medical personnel on the front lines, our nurses and doctors, um, researchers looking for uh, either a cure or a vaccine of any kind, um, the people delivering medical supplies. There are so many folks, so many hands involved that are seeking to be a part of the solution to this pandemic. So we want to continue to pray for those folks. Joey, um, are there any folks in our church that you can uh, think of throughout the week. I haven't heard an update on Candace's stepfather, Carol. Uh, I know we were praying for him last week. Um, um, Stacy Williams, uh, both her mo mother and father have uh, the coronavirus. And oh, okay. In the hospital in Pennsylvania. I saw, okay, thanks. Yeah, um, Leonard and Shirley. Okay, Leonard and Shirley, who are Stacy Williams' parent in recovering, but we certainly want to pray for them. Thanks. Any others that you can think of this evening? And keep and Julie, keep Julie. She's a little better. Okay, yeah, Julie, um, having some allergies and, and cold stuff. Uh, we want to continue to pray for her to feel better too. She's been struggling with that for several weeks. Any others? All 
All right. Well, uh, let's say a prayer together, knowing that even though we're not physically together, uh, Christ connects us all. And pray for your friend, Jenny. All right. Let's uh, take a deep breath. Remember, uh, God is with us and, and pray to him together. God, we thank you for this day and this moment, this life, for the fact that we are healthy and able to get on our computers or our phones and, and connect with one another in this way. We thank you for the beautiful spring weather you've given us today and in the recent days and for the ways that even in the midst of stress and a new normal we see signs of life and signs of resurrection all around us, Lord. The birds seem to sing a little more. The flowers are starting to peek out and blossom. Uh, the crops in, in the farmer's fields are, are coming through. And we thank you that we need only to look around in creation to see the truth and, and the signs of resurrection, Lord, and how the earth is waking up with joy and new life. We thank you, Lord, for Easter week and the fact that we as Christians continue to celebrate your resurrection and the truth that you are indeed alive and with us and active among us. You walk with us, Lord. You comfort us. You heal us. You are with us always. And we thank you so much for that truth and the hope that it gives us. We thank you, Lord, for the countless ways that we are blessed from day to day for having normal, healthy days. Uh, from having uh, food in our, our kitchens and pantries to eat when so many are doing without. We thank you for the gift of family and friends when so many live alone. And we thank you uh, most of all for the love that connects us all together as a church family, that even though we can't be together in person, Lord, we still feel the warmth and the fellowship of one another's presence through things like technology deals next week or next month. Please Provide for them, Lord, and sustain them in their time of need and help us to consider as individuals and as a church what we might can do to help the least of these around us. We pray for those who live alone and may be especially lonely during this time, Lord, for those who are grieving the loss of a family member or friend through this pandemic. We pray for Jenny's friend who needs prayers of peace right now, Lord. We pray that you would be with that person in a very real way, and offer them your peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray for Candace's stepfather, Carol, that his test results last week were good. And for all those, Lord, who need you especially now, we lift them up. We know you are a God who loves us, who knows us intimately, who will continue to guide us through this uh, strange and difficult time, Lord. And we thank you for teaching us new ways to make the best of it, to spend more time with our families, to enjoy being outdoors, uh, for gathering around tables and cooking meals together, and for the ways that this has forced us all to slow down, Lord. We do thank you for that and pray that we would continue to live fully into each new day, trusting you every step of the way. We offer this with joy, with gratitude, and with humility in the name of Jesus, whose resurrection we continually celebrate. Amen. All right. Thank you all. Uh, we'll turn it over to Joey, and uh, he will offer uh, some words of scripture and a devotion for us. Good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for tuning in and tonight, and this is from the Holy Spirit and, and will be helpful in some way. But the idea was, well, today is as, as well, let me ask you, I'm going to start off asking a few questions. What is today? Okay. We do know today is tax day. And we also know that because of all that's going on, we've been picked <laughs> as Matthew or Levi, as he is called. Now, uh, another question is, uh, Jesus was accused of who he is and what was important to him. Um, so uh, is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, why are you really great teach and think and hopefully come to the right answer for themselves? Um, now, the inference here is that 
uh, they are not to give to Caesar what belongs to God. That's, I think, the main point that Jesus is talking about. Um, and all of us are hoping, if we filed or do file um, our taxes, that we will get um, a, a refund, you know, that we'll do well as far as that goes. Um, but I, I was recently struck as thinking about uh, that our nation has set aside or stockpiled uh, emergency equipment and all kinds of things that we have as a nation if if we need those things. And in this case, it was medical equipment and those kinds of things. So um, so these are reservoirs of uh, supplies and resources that we have. And, and it got me to thinking about, you know, how are we able to have those stockpiles? have these things ready in case of emergencies. And I got to thinking about, you know, all of the uh, amazing things that that I were being responsible and paying our taxes, doing our fair share, uh, enable our nation to have. And so I just listed a few of those things that I was thankful for and that we're blessed to have in our country, like the Mercy ships, the U.S. Navy ships, uh, uh, Mercy and Comfort that have helped out in this time of crisis, FEMA. And we in North Carolina are well aware of all the hurricanes and natural disasters that we have, the importance of something like FEMA uh, being there for us to help people have what they need and rebuild. Uh, unemployment and stimulus checks that people are beginning to receive, those come from tax dollars. Our military that stands ready around the world so that we can sleep good at night, that protects our freedom. Um, government, federal, state, and local, schools, the lunches that are being provided for children, transportation and roads and bridges and infrastructure, Medicare and Medicaid, child care and Head Start, food assistance programs and food banks, many of which are funded through uh, grants and resources and tax dollars. So all of that is to say that even though we don't necessarily like taxes or like paying taxes, we have an opportunity. I think I think Jesus is also implying in, in this in this passage that we as followers of Christ have the opportunity and the responsibility to be good citizens and through doing our part. And um, especially during a time of crisis, when a national stockpile is something that we might have to rely on in order to do, the, we could even uh, see that a little differently you know, see the silver lining in paying taxes and realize how important that is for, for our nation and our world and how we're as Christians able to be not only good citizens of the, the kingdom of God, but, but part of that is being a good citizen of the, the nation that we live in. So um, I want to offer just a, a, a prayer tonight for a few things related to uh, taxes and um, how we can be good neighbors. So if you want to bow with me, I'll, I'll lead us in, in praying about that. It says we are not of this world. Uh, we are your people, but we're also blessed to live in the world and we're given responsibilities as citizens is through paying our taxes. Uh, we realize in times of crisis how important it is to have the resources that our nation needs and our world needs, uh, even on April 15th. Um, to see new light and, and see the importance of, of taxes. And maybe just like when we sit down and write out our checks and our bills and, and, and do those things, we give thanks to you for those goods and services that we have and that we're able to do that. And so, Lord, I pray for the, the stimulus checks and the unemployment checks that will come out of tax reserves, um, that people will get the money that they need, and I thank you that that's available. And I pray that the scammers and people out there looking to take advantage of others will not be able to get to those funds and that people's hearts will be changed if anybody wants to steal or take something from someone else that doesn't belong to them. And Lord, I also pray for our government and our administrators and leaders at every level um, that they will be good stewards and managers of our tax dollars and do good things with them. It's so easy to be careless when we're spending someone else's money. But if it's ours, we, we have a tendency to, to think a little bit more about it and be more responsible. So I hope that people will have those kinds of harsher of the tax world and help, help keep us uh, legal 
and doing the things that we're supposed to do. I pray that they'll have a little time off and be able to get a little rest as they meet their deadlines and responsibilities. So, Lord, thank you for um, being Lord over all and help us in all that we do to give to God the things that belong to him and to give to Caesar the things that belong to Caesar and to the nation and to the world um, and to serve you faithfully and effectively in all that we do. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. So um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Uh, The Lord be with you. Continue to take care of each other and to stay safe. Uh, Look forward to being with you in worship on Sunday. And we love you. Uh, Tyler and I are here for you. If you want to call us or uh, if there's anything you need or know someone that has a need,